The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Let's talk about the stock market today because it seems to be jumping around quite a bit. Folks, I'm going to show you something in this first chart here that is worth the price of admission in any movie you want to go to. This, my friends, is the Japanese yen U.S. dollar cross rate. I want you to see that 382 retracement there where we were just the other day. Pay very close attention because I'm going to update this and just show you something that's really important. Uh, if I were to sell this, it would be worth a lot of money. But take a look at that 382 retracement sitting right there at 10770. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go forward in time when they start shooting rockets with red glare all over the place. And now what you're going to see is you're going to see the Japanese yen make a lower low by about seven or eight ticks to the exact 382 at 107.70, and then it has exploded to the upside, as you can see. Folks, if you're worried about crashes in the market, watch the dollar-yen spread. This is the risk-on, risk-off trade. If this was really bad, this thing would have collapsed and gone below 107 faster than a, you know, a skunk chasing a rabbit. But anyway, it's that's a very bad analogy, I guess, but that probably happens in Indiana somewhere. But anyway, that's a really important thing to look at. So if you're worried about a, you know, if you're worried about a, a crash cash, then just look at that cross rate. That's real money, folks. That's that's not billions of dollars. That's trillions of dollars that is traded. So pay attention to that. It's very, very important. <laughs> I'm not going to bring anything up about cats or dogs. Sorry about that. We'll be able to see. By the way, there's, there's stuff on the internet, fake news, that says there were 80 soldiers killed. If they were 80 soldiers killed, folks, uh, the stocks would not be unchanged. I, I feel pretty, uh, pretty confident about that. The other thing that happened really important last night, something that we've been talking about here for the last few days, is the move in gold. And if you take a quick look at this, you'll be able to see. I'm going to update it here just to show you where we are. There's the ABCD pattern, but it's easier to see if you go to a little bit shorter time frame to uh, to see what happened to it because it was uh, it was really interesting what happened here. Let's get it up to uh, take a quick look at it. And you'll see here, this is the uh, 15 minute on gold. You'll notice that we made the 1.618 expansion of the move between January 5th. That was $32 down. Remember, one half of the harmonic number, or that is a harmonic number, $32 down. And then we rally all the way up to 1615. So if you add $60 to that, almost 60, there's your $64 run to the upside. Then you come down, and the key there was you rallied up to a 382 retracement, and that's where we thought it would be a great short, and it uh, certainly has come out. And you'll see the ABCD structure comes in here at around 1568 today. Anything below 1560, and you can put a big pair of uh, uh, rosy colored uh, uh, lipstick uh, shies on that and kiss it goodbye because that will be the end of the gold market at least for another hundred dollars because we're giving up too many times you're right this is the birthday of the king I was going to sing some of my impersonations but if I did I'm afraid the subscription list here at uh, TFNN would grow so much they wouldn't be able to handle all the data but thank you very much Marshall I appreciate it uh, someone's asked me if I ever met the king I wrote on an elevator with him once at uh, Cedar sinai Medical Center back in 1972. Uh, he was on an elevator with his bodyguards and stuff, and uh, just a very, uh, very, uh, really nice guy. Okay, let's move on here and take a look at something. Folks, I actually, um, I'm going to, uh, I don't know how to do this. Well, I guess I'll do it the easy way. I'll just come out and talk about it. All right, let me show you something, folks. This is from my book. I just want to get this up. This is from my book, Astro Cycles. 
And uh, I'm going to do this twice because this is really important where we are right now. This is the chart you see above there is the stock market in 1974. These are the main aspects you can see there. You can see the dark arrows that are there. You see those little things that are uh, looks like a little, uh, uh, well, I don't know what you call them. You can see where the arrow is. Looks like a stick with a circle on it. Those are conjunctions. That means that the market is at zero degrees. You can see those different planets, Mercury, Mars, you know, Venus, all these different planets like this. And then you'll see here, these are the dates that are there. This was the October low. There was another low that came in December at the same price at 580. So uh, this is what I want to show you. See how these little conjunctions and stuff come together? This is how Dr. Miller got me interested in astrology. She showed me that on these big key dates, and going back, we went back a long way, starting at 1875, and we start looking at these dates. And whenever you have these multiple conjunctions coming together, it means all these planets are lined up you know, together. I mean, they just look, you know, just like they're lining up pretty good. Let me show you something here. Here is the... Here is the, uh, if you want to pay attention just for a second, or I don't mean it that way. Hold on just a minute. Okay, here is the, uh, here is the March 5th, 2009, the bottom of the stock market. This is very unusual. You notice at the very top how all the planets are lined up in these two, two houses like this? That means that they're all at zero degrees. Something big is going to happen. Hey, I don't know what's going to happen. All I know is Bill Meridian, who's a really smart dude, far, far beyond my pay grade, has said January 10th is going to be very, very important. And by golly, January 10th is Friday. We've got a lunar eclipse and a full moon. We'll have Norm Winsky talking to us about this stuff tomorrow. But I just want you to see what happened at that point. Now, I was doing, I was my second year at TFNN on the show here, and this was a picture of the letter that I sent out. Let's just move this up a little bit here so we can see it. Hopefully, it'll, you'll be able to, oh, that'll be all right. Just a second here. The red line is the Bradley model. You can see the three drive to a bottom pattern. Uh, the, the Dow uh, was down 400 the next day uh, at 6,600. As you remember, that was the bottom on the 5th. It also made like a double bottom on the, on the 9th. And from there, uh, it, it, it took off forever. Well, now, if you found something like that in the future, wouldn't you be interested in seeing if something like that was going to happen again? Well, lo and behold, if you take the next one, which is the the, uh, these are these are natal charts of where the planets are lining up. This comes from our friend Mr. Winsky. Put this up here. You'll be able to see here that here again, you've got all of these planets into these two or three houses. You see how it's all empty on the bottom half, the bottom two thirds, the bottom three fourths. <laughs> Everything's together, folks. Something's lining up. I don't know what it is. All I know is that we have five planets in conjunction coming in starting on uh, Friday. And going through till Monday, early Tuesday, actually, uh, Tuesday the 13th is the last of it. But we have um, Combust, which is Sun conjunct Mercury, and that's a really big one. Uh, T.G. Butani, the um, Indian astrologer, did some great work on that, and that's a very strong trending day. It's like an eclipse of that kind of stuff, but that's what it looks like. So all I know is watch these dates coming up here because if it does turn, and if it does turn, that'll be interesting. And in that uh, picture from 2009, my letter that time said we we're going to see the largest uh, stock market rally since 1938 at that time it was it was a lot but I, I outdid myself on that one it went from 6600 and is still going to 28,000 and change all right we'll take a break here I'll try not to bore you anyway we'll uh, I want to share with you a few other things that I'm working on 877-927-6648 If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, I'm just going to put up a little graph here of the average true ranges and how they're calculated so you can see, you know, it's not just the difference because there's gaps in these things. And that's why you really need to know from the current high, you know, to the close and uh, the lows and stuff. So that's how you calculate it. I'm putting together a 20-year history of the most actively traded, 12 most actively traded things to prove that the opening price is so very, very important. There's a gentleman over in the UK that sells uh, for 4000 thousand dollars a trading system in the uh, foreign exchange markets it is nothing more than a breakout of the opening range which is uh, London this which is the start of the uh, the London markets uh, for foreign exchange for sure just remember folks watch that Japanese yen dollar uh, position because if we do go back and make new lows then you're going to see some some real craziness but if that currency is not moving very much that mean that money that's real money folks it's not the futures markets you know that's just the that's just the middle-aged crazies out there especially the ones in the middle tonight but uh, that's what you're that's what you really want to try to see remember the the, the the news on these things and the platinum is acting terribly now palladium believe it or not folks palladium hit a thousand sixty excuse me two thousand and sixty last night it was up like 80 bucks or something huge 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 run and of course I don't know what it's doing since that time but there was a big uh, 1.618 expansion up there let's get up here to show you uh, what it looked like but uh, 
I don't usually follow palladium, but one of my friends does, and so I was kind of keeping an eye on that. Let's go back to that uh, before we get move on a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more on this uh, conjunctions that we're having here because this is very, very unusual. Let me show you uh, what happened in uh, 2000, excuse me, 1987. This was the one that uh, really helped me quite a bit. This is from my book that was published in um, uh, January, February of 88. Uh, this was the top of the stock market on August the twi 25th, 1987. It was a thing called harmonic convergence. You'll note that all those little uh, zeros, you see those little conjunctions that were there, those are the different planets, Mercury. These are the same planets that we've got going on right now, folks, with the same with the same setup like this. Now, I don't know what it means, but all I know is it, it doesn't happen very often. And here we are at a time when uh, somebody like Bill Meridian is talking about something really big happening, and he's been bullish for a long time. And for him to flip from bullish to bearish takes a lot of chutzpah. Anyway, let's watch this because, and, and you know what? And if it, if it doesn't work, you know what's gonna happen by Wednesday, uh, a week from today, which will be the, the 15th, a week from today, this market will continue to be going higher. This thing is so so sensitive that it's got to be at the very latest Monday or Tuesday at the very latest. It could come as early as Friday because of the fact that we have that lunar eclipse and the full moon, and that many times acts as a trigger. So watch for, you know, this type of action to see if it's going to mean anything. And I'm not sure, but watch it because it could be very, very interesting. Uh, we'll watch it very closely. It has all the setups necessary to do the right thing, but whether it does or not, I don't know. By the way, if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. If you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer them for you. Let's take a, uh, a little bit of a uh, quick look here at the Treasury bonds. Those of you, that's, I'll try to get this chart up so you folks can uh, take a quick look at it. Uh, let me see if we get this. Uh, uh, okay, hold on a second here. Let me move this up here one second. Uh, it's going to take me just a little bit here. Oh, shucks. Just give me a second. The bonds had a very, very strong rally right at the 78% level and gave up two cents. Gave up just a second here, so we get it up here to take a look at it. Last night, when everything was crazy, you'll see the bond spiked up to uh, 159.14. That was the exact 78% retracement from the high on the 25th. This market is still heading lower. And as you can see from the price objectives we're looking at, we could easily drop another seven or eight points if we get below the 155 level. So that's the bonds. It doesn't look to me like the, the interest rates are going to be going uh, lower. It looks like interest rates are going to be going higher. And we'll see if that's going to be the, the case or not. We'll have to wait and see. Now, we had a <laughs> – shucks. Uh, I'll tell you. Uh, we, I just missed something. Well, that's the way it goes. Some days it's chicken salad, and other times it's something else. All right, let's move on. Another question is about the grains. Folks, we've got a big grain report coming out here on January 10th. It's going to be a, it's going to be a game changer because this will be the setting up the, what's going to happen for the rest of the time. It has nothing to do with these uh, uh, tariffs or any of that stuff. I think that's pretty much, pretty much out, of the, out of the bag and stuff. But if we just take a look here at the uh, – wow, where is the March beans? Oh, here they are. All right, let's get a see here. We've had a little bit of a sell-off here. They have not gone down very much. Let's no, no, there was no sleeping last night, Bubba. No, I, I uh, actually, what happened? Uh, I was on the hunt of this conjunction stuff for some reason. I happened to look at the sheet and I saw all these conjunctions, and then I went back and looked at to those other years. And boy, something big is happening, folks. All I can tell you, I don't know about the news and stuff, but this is going to be really big. Uh, and, you know, and I, I wish I knew more about astrology than I do. I really touch it with kid gloves because it's, it's very, very intense. But I've seen it work enough that when it does work, it works extremely well. And when it doesn't work, it doesn't work extremely well. But the good part is you're going to know within one or two days whether it's going to work or not. That's what happened in, in uh, March of uh, 
of 2009, and you can see what's going on. And, and that caught everybody by surprise. You couldn't get anybody to buy stock. Goldman Sachs had to go begging to, uh, you know, Warren Buffett to get, uh, what, what, 12 billion or something like that? So that's the kind of thing that you have. So, but now, you know, the market goes up every day. Everybody's complacent. And even, even with this, uh, the market last night, you know, as soon as it, as soon as you drop down in that S and P folks, I think I, I think I posted it cause I wanted to talk about it today because it was a, uh, a very interesting, uh, thing that was going on. If I hope I did, I, I was watching. Oh yeah, I think I did. This is it. Yeah, here we go. Here's the S&P. You'll be able to see. And this is at the same time we we're watching the Japanese yen. The S&P opened at, uh, and it, you can see how quickly it broke. 31.89 was a 382 retracement. We made 31.81 on a fast tick. And immediately from there, we went from 31.81 to 32.03 faster than a speeding bullet. I mean, it really did. That was one thing. And then when you looked at the Japanese yen showing that it wasn't falling apart, that was another reason. Hey, this thing is probably not going to fall apart. So you want to look at the things that might give you the most profit. So looked at the short crude oil. If you looked at the short gold, it gave you some really good places to, uh, to go in those. Anyway, whether that means anything, we'll be able to see. That's correct. I remember that very well. Basil and I both were watching at that bottom there on March the 9th, and it uh, it did uh, that trade worked. And you know what, <laughs> Mr. Z, it's still working. <laughs> That's the funny part. Okay. Um, uh, what is the other? I had a couple. Oh, I wanted to share with you. Um, let's give me one other thing. Oh, we got a break coming up. Then I want to share with you a couple things from uh, Tom Hugard. And uh, we'll have hopefully have Tom as our guest on Friday because he's back in business. 877-927-6648. Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date, active trading information that will help you and your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back, and I posted a chart of Bitcoin. Uh, you'll remember that bottom that was down there on the far right side. That bottom was a 382 retracement on the log chart, and it was also a 61% retracement on the chart going back to $100 a share up to 19000 Hold on a second, folks. I'm getting a little alert here that I need to pay attention to, and that should be the gold market, if I'm correct. Yes, watch the gold right here, boys and girls. This is a really key, really key, key, key time to take a look at it. Anyway, let's move on here to a couple of things. The stocks have sold off a little bit. We got up to 32.46. We now down to we dropped about 10 handles. Again, Dudette was right on top of this. God bless her. There's so many great people in this room, folks, that TFNN has. Uh, you ought to, if, you're in home, if you're at home and you need some help, you know, log in and get onto this uh, tiger den because they've got some really good ideas and they set up some really good trades. And the key is, is you don't want to uh, take the losing trades. That's a whole key to actually uh, trading. See, oh my goodness, I'll tell you, boys and girls, I'm one happy camper. Let's move on here to a couple of things that we need to uh, discuss. Uh, I wanted to show you what Tom did yesterday in his trading. I'm going to leave this up here so you can take a little, discuss it here a little bit because he is a very, very active trader. He, he really does a lot here, folks. Now, you'll notice that uh, his first trade in the morning, uh, he shorted the Dow, and uh, he got stopped out with a with a four point loss, and then he didn't do it again. He shorted it again up there at 28.69. That was a big win, and uh, so he had two other places in there. So he ended up with 86 Dow points yesterday. Of course, yesterday was a relatively quiet day except for the middle of the night. So we'll see uh, what's going on. But that's really what he does. Uh, he keeps it simple, keeps his loss simple, keeps his losses uh, in check, and that's the whole key to looking at. Since we're talking about losses, uh, he posted something in his uh, room that I think is uh, really interesting. I'm going to bring it up to you folks so you can uh, take a look at it. This is, comes from his uh, uh, Trader Tom Live Trading, which is on Telegram. You can go watch it if you like, and uh, no charge. Anyway, learning to love to take a loss. We've said this many times, and that is the fact that the guy who uh, tra uh, who takes the the, the, the best loss is the one that wins. The, the best loss is the one that wins because your first loss is your, is your easiest one. There's something you'll never hear. You'll hear from successful floor traders. They say all the time, if you're going to be a successful trader, either on or off the floor, you will have to learn to love taking a loss. Basically, what that means is it does not bother you to have a losing trade. Don't get me wrong, when you're not going to be happy taking a losing trade, but you should be happy to be out of the market when the trade is no longer represents a profitable opportunity. A sequel to that is, it's much better to be out of a market wishing you were in than in a market wishing you were out. I just added that. Most people have learned to do this the hard way, and really it does take years. They end up losing all their money before they realize how important it is to love trading and taking a loss. Because, folks, just as a me talking, but taking a loss is like breathing. I mean, you just literally have to do it. Instead of ignoring the fact that they have a losing trade like most people do, successful traders confront the possibility of being wrong, and thus when the time comes, you take a loss, they do it without hesitation. Okay, someone's asking a question here. Let's see what it happens to be. <laughs> Very good, Jay Bird. Jay, Jay posted something rather funny here. Your losing trades do not diminish, diminish you as a person. You are not... You are not your losing trades. You're also not your winning trades either. They are simply byproducts of the business that you're in. And I think that's really good to work with. The one good thing that we have in this den is we have Mr. Google himself, uh, uh, David White, who I just found out this week his father was a CIA guy. Boy, I'll tell you, no wonder you're so smart, Mr. Uh, 
white. But uh, God bless you for all the quotes that you point, uh, bring out because I, I really love, I really love seeing those quotes. It's uh, it's quite nice. Someone asked a question about Tesla. It's continuing to go higher even in the face of a bad, a bad market. It just keeps going up and up. And you have to, you have to be impressed with our good friend Elon Musk when he gets up there and he dances and uh, he should be dancing. His stock went from 100, 180 to uh, 460 and rising. Why wouldn't he be dancing? He certainly wouldn't have to have his head down for any stretch of the imagination. We'll have to, to wait and see. Okay. Uh, oh, my goodness, I'll tell you. Hold on just a second here got to get this up and running here to make sure I cover everything. I wanted to cover one other commodity that uh, we've been watching, and that is the uh, the copper, because we had that uh, big move down, or big move up, and the big move down. You'll get this up here to be able to see. Dave is a wealth of knowledge is the understatement of the year. I think he has his is uh, inside information from Google. Here is the copper market. You can see the perfect ABCD pattern. If you wanted to defy human nature and do your uh, homework, look at the point from A to B, count the number of bars that move down, stopped at the 50% retracement. We go up, make a high, count the bars up to count the bars down. You'll see that that has near perfect symmetry. Uh, we backed off a little more. Uh, we're trading back at around 279 today. So copper is still in a uh, short-term uptrend here. So it does look like it's doing pretty well. Uh, regarding the, uh, the uh, report for uh, the grains that, that comes in at 10 o'clock uh, on uh, Friday. Uh, it's a big grain report, folks, so I highly recommend, recommend that you see that. Yes, Marshall, that is a 135 pattern in daily in the traily, uh, Treasury bond, especially when it hit that 78% level last night. But Marshall, I happen to be watching that when it happened, and believe me, it was only there for a blink of an eye because it went, it went, it went, 30, it went 20 pips up and 30 pips down faster than you could blink an eye. So uh, you, you could, unless you had your order setting right there, uh, you know, you would have been able to do it. And the only way you do that is that you're just guessing that they're going to be doing something, you know, with the, uh, with the market. So we'll see whether that's going to, to, be, uh, to be the case or not. We're having a little trouble with the Internet here uh, in uh, Tucson today. A lot of wind out there. I don't know what's causing it, but hopefully I'll still be able to finish up the show here. We shouldn't have too much trouble here, but it's been knocking. You've been, been knocking out several times. That I'm not sure about that. Uh, that the, the Ukraine airline crash, I don't see, you know, it could easily be a coincidence or maybe not. I don't know. I'd have to ask our conspiracy theorist do that. She would probably have inside uh, information on that. That's for sure. So we we need to watch that. Uh, yes, that gold, that's why I was watching that gold at, uh, at uh, 1580. That was a very, very important number here. So we want to watch. If it doesn't get above 1580, gold is in trouble. That's the way it looks to me. So that's what we're paying attention to this morning. So that's pretty much it. So that's it. Folks, I'm going to have to get off and reboot. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do the, the second part of the show. So I'll be back uh, right after uh, the break, hopefully, and I'll have this thing corrected because I'm afraid I'm going to lose connection. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we want to talk a little bit about uh, this thing that I talked about with these conjunctions and oppositions. Um, we're going to talk more about it. Might get used to it. I don't understand all of it. All I know is that these planets are lined up together, and it, you don't see this very often. Uh, it's very, very rare. And then when it lines up with the uh, Bradley model, which is all part of that, when it lines up like that, that Bradley model has to be uh, turning or, or making some type of an important thing. So uh, let's pay attention to it because it might, may or may not be something big, but with the expansion that we have here, who knows? And then, of course, remember, we had the uh, folks at, the, uh, at our good friends at Elliott Wave have been uh, talking a little bit about this. They don't do anything with the astrology and stuff. Uh, Bob is asking about the euro. It's not a problem. Let's get, I'll get the euro up here. You'll see here that uh, we're at B here, so whether that means anything or not, but it's certainly an extension. We'll be watching. We're going to know by the 15th, folks. By a week from today, we will know whether this is correct or not because it will be a surprise. And not a surprise like we're seeing with these markets overnight. It'll be a real surprise and because uh, that that's really nothing. You know, when you look at the S&P at Bloomberg and it's down 40 handles and all of a sudden, you know, it's uh, it's up uh, 15 handles from the bottom. The first thing you want to do is to check what the Japanese yen was doing and see what the 382 was in the S&P. And it told you, well, if we go below that 382, then you got real problems. But it didn't really do that. But the key to me was the fact that the gold and the crude oil came off so quickly from those big numbers. I mean, there was not a there was not a panic to be long oil. Now, gold jumped a little bit, but, you know, platinum didn't do anything at all, nor did silver. So there was not a, a panic of any time. I wanted to spend a second here uh, with a chart that we talked about just a little bit yesterday. Here was another one that landed, you know, exactly where it should have. This is the Australian dollar. The key is the big ABCD pattern we had up there at 70. We were, met, were saying, you know, that D at that 70 level was a good uh, short because if you look at the interior move between November and December, you'll see another ABCD pattern in there. So you had multiple confirmations, just like you did at point D. 
and that's why that's pretty good. The reason why the ABCD patterns and the one three fives, the butterflies and the Gartleys, all they are, folks, is a way to control risk. They they do some predicting, but the main thing that they have for you is that they they control risk, and that's the main thing that you want to do because that's the only thing you can control in the risk reward equation is the risk. Now I need to do something here, so bear with me. I want to check and see how things are moving right now. So, uh, okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, all right. And uh, let's see uh, where we have to go here for the NASDAQ to make a new high, which we're within a heartbeat of that. It only has to get up another 25 points or so. And I fully expect to see uh, a new high, folks, uh, because if this, uh, if these aspects are correct, and this is only the eighth, and we're expecting it between the tenth and the thirteenth, we should be coming into that lunar eclipse and full moon on Friday, smoking guns, and it could be that uh, Iran wants to be a, a subsidiary of the United States. Who knows? <laughs> now that's a that's a conspiracy theory you can hang your hat on. All right, let's move on to a couple others that we want to watch here. Um, let me get back to the natural gas because I think we're, we're getting close to a pretty good bottom in the natural gas. I just wanted to show you where we are right now. This is the 15-minute. Uh, let's do the daily because it's so much easier for these people that don't watch it. We're down here, folks. Let me get this up here so we can take a look at it. Um, we're going to be watching it. Yeah, uh, home builders are definitely uh, going, and I, I see that uh, Trump is speaking at 11 o'clock. Okay, that will be interesting. That'll that'll mean some things going on. So, my guess is what they're going to do is to uh, I don't even have a guess. All I know is it's something something. What we're seeing in the news and and what they're telling us is is not what really is going on, boys and girls. That's uh, that's the way I look at it from the cheap seats here in uh, Tucson, Arizona. So we'll pay close attention to it as we go through and look at some of these other charts. Now, we had a question about the euro. Just give me one second here for Bob, and I will get the euro up to uh, take a quick look at it. We, it's very easy to do when we do the daily chart. We can see it quite easily here. Get this up here for Bob so he'll be able to see it without too much trouble. Material emissions, yeah, probably. Okay, we had the ABCD up at 61% retracement at 1350. We talked about that last week. We've now completed the small ABCD pattern. You can see it forming right now at 111.93. It should hold that level. It's down seven days from the high, so that six days from the high, so that should hold. It's an equal retracement that we had in early December, so this level of 111.90 is uh, really, really important. Anything below uh, 111, uh, another 10 or 15 ticks is telling you you're going to go down uh, lower. But right now, that, that has completed that ABCD, and we've had a six-day correction. Just look at the correction from December 16th to the 30th. You had a six-day correction equal to... Uh, 100 point, 115 points. What'd you do here? You have a, a six day correction, 115 points. So we're setting at major support in the euro right here. You notice these currencies, folks, didn't do anything with what was going on with a potential war. Watch that, folks. That's why foreign exchange is so very, very important. You know, when I first started trading, you know, way back in the in the, uh, the 13th century or whatever it was, back in the 60s, you know, you couldn't even trade foreign exchange until um, I think it was 19. Uh, well, you could do it at a bank, but you had to have a million dollars on deposit to trade foreign exchange. And now, you know, you can trade it with micro mini contracts. So that's the main thing to uh, as you're watching here. So we'll see. Uh, see if that's going to be the case. Okay, let's move on here. Uh, okay, Mr. Trump, I just see a post here that he will be uh, talking at 11 o'clock, and uh, we'll be able to see what's uh, going on here, but who knows. Okay, let's move on here. Uh, we did that. We did that. We've already done the others. The British pound. Now, the British pounds had some pretty wild swings in here, but we're all between 132 and 131. So there's not really much going on there right now. So pay uh, pay sort of attention to that as you're as you're looking onward and seeing how these things go. Okay, let's move on to just a second here. I wanted to get one other thing. Um, 
Ah, oh dear, I'm just doing too many things at once, folks. Sorry, I have to just do one thing at a time. The main thing to focus is to watch the currencies. Watch that Japanese yen. Put your limit minders on. If you see that Japanese yen, 107.70, something's wrong. But by the time it's there, the other markets are going to be going. So watch the yen. That's one of the things you want to keep an eye on because if you see a big move in the yen, that precursors something going on because they have information that we don't have. That's the you know that's the bottom line. So um, that's the main thing that you want to keep in mind. So hopefully that helps. We'll see. Well, we almost one more minute to the break, and then we uh, move on for tomorrow. Tomorrow we have the wizard himself of Naples, Florida, Norman. He catches it by the minute. Winsky will be on to talk to us about this lunar eclipse and full moon, and also these five major conjunctions that we have between the 11th. 12th and 13th so that'll be really big the 13th i imagine will be that'll that'll probably tell us where we are but by the 15th a week from today if the market's still going higher folks it's going to go a lot higher that would be my guess because if this if these uh, major conjunctions do not turn the market then we are going to go a long way and in fact i said that in the letter back in 2009 i said we could lose the whole thing right here we were setting in a 61 percent retracement there uh, on that date way back in um, 2009 and where we are now is a 1.618 expansion so whether that means anything or not we'll have to uh, to wait and see but there's still strength in the market 877-927-6648 I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. 
Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, Maria was asking a question about the gold making 1535. Well, if we go below 1555, uh, Maria, that's the, that's a real breakdown in the gold market. It really doesn't uh, take much of a mathematician to figure that out. You can see here, I'm going to post the, uh, the gold chart that I'm watching, the 15-minute. You'll be able to see that we had a 382 retracement last night that took about uh, three hours to do that right in the middle of the fighting. I uh, couldn't get any higher than 382 right at 1596 and it came all the way down to 1570 and all we were able to do was rally up to 1580 which is nothing more than a six dollar rally which is extremely bearish for gold if it's really moving. So the key here today is if we get below 15, uh, 1568, say 1565, we get to 1565, you could easily see 1535. That's the main thing. One other th important thing about the gold market, folks, with all the stuff that was going on, it lost open interest yesterday with that big jump to 1591 and all that stuff yesterday. There was a lot of people selling the gold. We're going to find out tonight what the open interest is, and we'll have a pretty good idea of what's watching. So we'll keep a uh, close eye on that for sure. Those are just a few of the ones that we're looking. So if you have any questions on our show tomorrow for Norm, it'll be 877-927-6648. We really want to focus on what's happening in these cycles, folks. And when you're talking about these astrology things, they're nothing more than days and astrology numbers. That's all. There's nothing, you know, it's not I have new toe frog, anything like that. It's just cycle numbers. That's all they are. That's what Bill Meridian talks about. You know, he's been extremely successful and he had a great show last week. And he said, watch January 10th. And uh, that's uh, that's when he's reversing from long to short. So we'll see. I, I, I wasn't, when I first started looking at these conjunctions last night in the middle of the night, I'd forgotten what uh, Bill had said. But when I checked in with someone else, he reminded me that Bill was doing uh, reversing between around January 10th, which is that lunar eclipse and full moon. So we got some big things to look at here, and then we'll be able to see where we stand. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. Thank you.